Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I'm fine. Kisumo is also fantastic. Maybe you could let me know where you're watching the video from. The county, in case you are in Kenya, and the country, in case you are outside the Republic. William Samoy Arapruto, the President of the Republic of Kenya, today attended a church service in Homa Bay County, Luo Nyanza to be precise. And that visit by William Samoy Arapruto, in my view, is significant politically speaking. So in this video, I want us to do a critical analysis of that particular meeting. Before we do that, for those watching the channel for the first time, please don't forget to click that subscribe button because what we do on this channel is that we analyze politics in a way you can't find any other place. So the best thing you can do is to press that, that uh, subscribe button so that next time you produce the video, it will automatically notify you. To the subscribers, please, I want to ask you a favor. Press that thumbs up button now. Now let us get back to the main issue. William Ruto today attended a church service in Homa Bay County. And I noticed a few things. The first thing I noted was the absence of the local elected leaders from the area. And the question which most people were asking is whether these leaders boycotted the event or they were never invited. And if they were invited, who invited them? For me, based on uh, what uh, I've gathered, because yesterday I think I was likely the first person to make the post public after receiving some intelligence that Ruto was going to Homa Bay on my Facebook page. And at least two members of parliament called me just to confirm whether the information I'd uh, posted was true. So the truth is, William Ruto's event in Homa Bay today was not planned. Actually, it had been planned, but at some point, William Ruto said he was not going to attend. And according to the program, the person who was then now supposed to represent William Ruto was a gentleman, the CEO of Lake Basin Development Authority, Raymond Omolo. He was the person who was supposed to represent William Ruto. And the church was actually organizing some fundraiser and it was to present William Ruto's donation. And around five yesterday, William Ruto placed a phone call to the bishop that he had a change of mind and therefore he was going to attend. That's why even the service had to change according to the church later. So I think William Ruto really did not invite most of these members of parliament. For example, Gladys Wanga was in Homa, was in uh, has been in, uh, in uh, Mombasa. And according to the statement which she released, was that she spoke with the DP, I mean with the president, about her absence. And the only person who have issue with, the, with his statement is Opondo Kaluma. Opondo Kaluma is saying that he didn't have means. That cannot be an issue. The issue is he was not invited. Maybe, I don't know the reason, but the question is, why were they not invited? Because what I understand is that politics is now over. Why do you think they were not invited? For me, I only have two theories why these guys were not invited. Probably number one, there was the fear that if they were invited and Ruto attended that event, probably they would come with their supporters. That's normally the biggest fear of most politicians. And number two, I also tend to think that maybe they were not invited because the people who supported Ruto in quotes in Nyanza really wanted to sideline them. So that's the first thing I noted. The second thing I noted was the presence of the so-called rebels from Nyanza attending this event. Who accompanied Ruto from Luo Nyanza? Number one was Elido Walo. Elido Walo is a cabinet secretary. So by virtue of being a cabinet secretary, he had to accompany the DP. And of course, he was also the deputy secretary general of UDA. So he had to accompany the DP. But let us look at other people who accompanied the DP. There was Ken Obura. There was uh, David Ochieng. If you look at the entire setup, because in politics nothing happens out of mere coincidence. If you look at the setup, David Ochieng was actually sitting next to William Ruto. Basically, David Ochieng was playing host to the event. So for me, I tend to think that this event 
might have been organized by David Ochieng or David Ochieng might have been given the task to make it to, 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 to host it. That's why those who are present, if you look at them keenly, were members of his MDG party. Talk of Jack Rangoma, a member of his party. You talk of um, Olaga Lwoch, a member of his party. You talk of Fred Water, a member of his party. Majority of those leaders who attended this event are actually members of MDG. So was Ochieng the host? I don't know. And I was talking to someone and he was telling me that William Ruto's strategy is very simple for the Luonyanza. He wants to make sure that they feel part of the government. But he also wants to use that opportunity to try and install new leadership. So that David Ochieng would deal with the issue of the entire Nyanza. But politically, he will be in charge of Kisumu and Sia County. He's still looking for someone from Homabe. And the absence of Kidero, for me, is what... It's worrying me politically. Why was Kidero absent? Kidero has been attacking Raila Odinga. He's been uh, trying so hard to please the DP. Why was he absent? So that's another thing which I observed. And the other question which is coming to my mind is, are there attempts to own William Ruto? If you listened very closely to William Ruto's speech in Homa Bay, William Ruto was very clear that he would work with the elected leaders from Nyanza. He repeated the word elected leaders almost five times in his speech. Which means even the deputy president, sorry, it means even William Ruto himself was not happy by the fact that the elected leaders were missing. That they were not actually invited to this event. But those are politics. Let us look at the objective of this particular meeting. Why do you think William Ruto visited Homabe? Because the Luo nation who voted for Ruto, I mean for Raila, are still very bitter. That's the fact. The other fact which we cannot run away from is the fact that Ruto is now the president of the Republic of Kenya. Number two, Ruto never got votes from Nyanza. That's the honest truth. But he chose to come to Nyanza immediately after forming his cabinet. Why do you think he chose Nyanza? Why, what was the objective of this meeting? For me, the objectives, obje, objectives were very simple. Number one, it is William Ruto's charm offensive to Nyanza. He's sending a message to the entire country that for him, he will work with everybody, regardless of whether, whether you voted for him or not. Those who voted for Ruto and those who, voted no, who did not vote for him will be treated equally. And in fact, if, you, if you've been studying politics, one thing I can assure you is that probably the Luo nation are likely to be the biggest beneficiary of William Ruto's government. What I don't know is whether they'll be able to be persuaded to vote for William Ruto again. Because, you know, Ruto was accompanied to this event by Ndindi Nyoro. Ndindi Nyoro was one of the people who used to hate the Luos. I still believe he hates the Luo so much. The other day, Rigadi Gashaga was in Kisumu. And Rigeti Gashaga was very clear that Uhuru Kenyatta actually took development projects from Mount Kenya and took them to Kisumu. He was in Kisumu here. He didn't talk much about development. So for Ruto coming to, Kis to Homa Bay at this particular time, and he mentioned certain ro roads which were going to be constructed, of course, the construction of those roads had begun, but there were some issues. Some of them stalled. So he's telling everybody that for him, he will be working with everybody. And this is his first term offensive strategy. So that's number one. Number two, I also tend to think that William Ruto is setting the tone for his administration. That his administration will be able to cover the entire Nyanza. In fact, William Ruto's politics, if you are keen, mirrors Daniel Torotich Arap Moy's politics. Where every Saturday and Sunday, every Sunday, he attends a church service. During the week, he hosts the legations. And then, he was, he, the, the, just the way Mo used to do, he used to work with community leaders, either you are rebel or not. So for me, I tend to think that William Ruto is actually setting the tone for his, uh, for his administration on how they were going to deal with the regions which really did not vote for him. And number four, three, in my view, I also tend to think that William Ruto is gauging the mood of the Luo Nyanza. Some people were telling me that, you know, Lee, uh, Ruto came to Nyanza 
and we are yet to heal why is it trying to to provoke i don't think that's the the motive what ruto is trying to do basically if you ask me is trying to gauge the mood of the law nation if the reception was good i can assure you william ruto will send his ministers to luanyanza if the mood based on what the intelligence will brief him then he will plan more similar visits and lastly is development agenda for his for his uh, government will william ruto initiate development projects in nyanza the reason why uhuru kenyatta is was being embraced in nyanza was the fact that it was perceived that uhuru kenyatta was really supporting development projects in this region you know the port is now here william ruto post the port he actually wanted the port now to go to malaba via via total in a, in a, from Na, on, on nakuru i mean once it reached nakuru it was supposed to go to total then eldoret so basically ruto is setting also the development agenda for his government especially for the luo nation the luo nation signed some uh, agreement with them what they were calling charters so whether you will implement it or not something i don't know but i've seen also so many people having issues with gladys wanga having issues with opondo kaluma and having issues with other leaders for not attending that church service for me that's not the big deal if these guys were never invited they were never invited the protocol normally is that when a president is visiting an area the host ought to be the member of parliament so the member of parliament is normally briefed well in advance so that he plays the host i'm looking at a situation where assuming kaloma was there gladys was there then these guys wanted to show the face of william ruto's people from nyanza then it means some of them would be sitting very far away from the dp maybe that's what they didn't want this is politics until next time this is lema queen bye bye